Year ending December the 28th. With Bill Wallace, David Tate, Sally Grace and guests. Are you sure this is wise, dear? Of course, Dennis. Major never uses the place. Ah, memories. Yes. Can you remember where we were this time last year? Right here, wasn't it? Socialism was crumbling throughout Europe. Yeah. In Romania, Lithuania, Latvia. Baltics. I do know what I'm talking about, Dennis. Remember what momentous event took place in February? Uh, I went three under par at Birkdale. No, Dennis. Nelson Mandela was released. And like I said, I... Just I think. 27 years confined in prison, and suddenly he's free to go anywhere in the world. Bar Cheltenham Conservative Club, eh? Dennis, light that fire. Well, yes, uh, at last we can now bring you pictures live from South Africa of Nelson Mandela's release. And there you see the road that leads from the prison to the prison gates. It's a straight road, um, a tarmac road, no cars visible as yet. A long road, black, uh, fittingly enough, um, with white dividing lines. Uh, um, uh, but uh, we'll leave those pictures just for the moment because here in the studio we have Padding, uh, I mean uh, Paddy Ashdown. Uh, Mr. Ashdown, your thoughts? Uh, well, I, I, I think it, it, it should be uh, said at this uh, juncture. It should that... indeed. And now back live to the prison where I believe, yes, uh, there we are, nothing is happening. Um, but uh, um, what a momentous moment it will be when it does, uh, Peter Snow. Yes, well, uh, Jonathan, if we compare the uh, mandolometer... And with a final shot of the road, uh, we have to leave you on BBC One, but switch over now to BBC Two to see history in the making. This is BBC Two. Due to today's historic happenings in South Africa, there are several changes in tonight's viewing. At 8 o'clock, we'll be showing Mandela's Road to Freedom an in-depth analysis of the road. Followed at nine by Mandela's release, the Thatcher influence. Then at 9.01, a late show special, Nelson Mandela, a man and his music. And now live on BBC Two, here's BBC One. And what a moment that was. How marvelous to see the first car come round the corner. Memorable pictures indeed for those of us who saw them. Um, Unheralded scenes of embarrassment here in the studio from where we must now say goodbye on Sunday the 11th of February 1990. Jonathan Dimbleby and the BBC turn a historic event into a hysterical one. Really, though, Dennis, I do... Speaking of which, Dennis, what happened to the fire? Mm, died away suddenly. Just like support for the Labour Party. <laughs> Do you know, at conference time, they even had their own 0898 number. Vaguely. I wonder what town that's the code for. I could always check. 0898. Um, let's see. Board housewives at the sauna. No, uh... Swedish sisters in suspenders. Boring. Oh, oh, this is the one. Kneel on top. Oh. Hello, you lovely cuddly voter. This is Neil with some hot tips just for you. Hello, this is Mr. Pervy. I've got a big standing in the pool at the moment. Oh. And I thought you'd like to know just what it is I can do for you. You don't want wet, dreamy ideas and slippery promises. Oh, oh yes, please. After years of Mrs. Satcher putting her hand in the pocket of the working class, fiddling with the figures and giving her all for the rich, a swing my way will give you what you need. Oh, so what are you wearing? Why don't you take a good long look at my new, fresh, tight little policies. This is my interesting new position just for you. It's been hard. Oh. It's been dirty. But I think at the end of the day, we'll get it on together. And now, if you're ready for someone who's hot, oh. wet, and oh. willing, oh. here's Roy with something really exciting. Oh. Yes, the hard facts of labor policies guaranteed to turn on the voters. As conference decided in its composite standing orders, our policies for strategic subsidies to homeless and socially disadvantaged people oh, willing... Boring. <laughs>
Well, I must say, Major's let the place go downhill since we... I, I mean, you left. Yes, repainting checkers grey wasn't such a good idea. Mm, so very un-Christmassy. And just look at this. At last, one can strike her off one's Christmas card list. Your Majesty? Yes, or well. The Prime Minister is here. Oh, goody. That, uh, uh whatchamacallim. Orwell, you look concerned. I gather, Your Majesty, that he is determined to destroy the class system. What? Yes, Your Majesty. It's not right. I mean, what can we do? Mm. I think, Orwell, you should leave this to your betters. Just help one on with one's Dr. Martin. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Hi. Ah, watch a mate. Your Majesty? Call me Liz, my old cock sparrow. Fancy a cup of char? Tea? Oh, yes, that would be very nice. Thank oh, you. well, a pot of char for two, please. Yes, ma'am. And fetch us a round of French fried potato butties. Why, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, and all well. Yes, ma'am. We're all equal here, ain't we? If your majesty pleases. Yes, ma'am. Now then, yes. what can one do for you, John? Well, uh, your majesty, I've come to kneel at your feet, kiss your hands and swear... Undying allegiance to the crown. Oh, call blimey. So here we are at last, Norma. Our first Christmas at Checkers. We can eat our chips in comfort. Oh, look, John, the window's been smashed. What? You don't suppose there's been a break in, do you? Perhaps we'd better call the police. No, I, I think we'll be all right. The 24 hour glaziers, then. We'll have to do something about that window. Call in a glazier, Norma. Perish the thought. I used to be a builder, don't forget. And if I remember rightly, there should be a tub of putty in a pane of glass in the boot of the Daimler. You know, John, sometimes I just don't understand you. Clearly, John Major is many things to many people. So, for the definitive view of the private life behind a very public image, we've come here to number 10 in a rain-swept Downing Street to put the question to the man himself. John Major, what are you really like? Uh, who, who, me? Oh, uh, well, um, I don't know, really. I, um, I don't know that much about me, but uh, over the next few months, hopefully, I shall uh, get to know me and... Um... <laughs> Year ending featured Bill Wallace, David Tate, Sally.